Hey y'all, welcome back to the Diversion Rack channel. This is Jim, your humble host, and this is take 571 of the intro. Today we're gonna make this part, put it in this door, so why don't you watch the video and I'll show you what we're doing. All right, so if you all had the problem where you've installed a set of slider doors, not pocket doors, but barn style doors, you have to have something on the bottom of them to stop the door from moving in and out. So we had this interesting project, which we have previous videos on the channel that we did in, in Hillsboro. It's pretty much complete with the exception of a punch list. What? Oh, this is the wrong project? Oh, that's right, we were talking about doors. Here, right, let me put this down. I'm sorry about that, I was confused with what we were videotaping. Yes, we will be producing the video for the Kawasaki motorcycle, but that's not being told by the film crew what we're doing today. We're actually still doing this. Darn it. So we removed the pocket doors at the home in Hillsboro for our wonderful customer, and we put barn style sliders in there, which are these doors. So we came up with what's a starboard track. We made up a simple router jig, which goes over the door, and you put it in accordingly, line it up to where you want, and then the router can stay inside this framework. It will cut the hole out in the door. Once that part was done, we repainted the doors. We had a little bit of cracking around. Remember, we didn't make the doors. We had a company in Texas do it. So we had a little bit of cracking around the molding. So while we had them here, we just figured we'd spend another 120 hours sanding and repainting all the doors. We made this little track out of starboard, which fits pretty nicely inside the door goes in like this. So I came up with this little detail out of wood. So what will happen is this will act as a guide for this bottom of this track and it'll go in the door like so. And the door will simply slide back and forth on that. You notice it has two holes in it and that's how we're going to anchor it to the marble tile. So that's the stage you're at. I have the metal which I've started to polish up. You can see this one piece of metal duplicates this. This other piece of metal will duplicate that. Now I just have to make six of these little tracks up out of this metal. So we're going to finish polishing it a little bit more, make it nice and clean to weld on. Then I'm going to chop it up into sections, and we'll weld it together, finish cleaning it up. Probably drill the holes first, it's easier to do, but we'll see. Let's get started. pieces set down. We have one set of doors over here that are actually in. We still have to put the handles back in them from the paintwork. This is what the brackets look like when they're on the floor underneath the doors. It sits approximately like that. So these work really well. They slide good and we're quite happy with that. With these we're going to show you how to put them in properly. So set them in place accordingly. Then we're going to set the doors on top of them. And we're going to make a little pattern around them so they're locked into where they go with the doors closing in the center. All right, so you hit uh, both doors in, but the tracks aren't attached. But the reason they're not attached as of yet is because the walls are not parallel so you can't just mount them an eighth of an inch off the wall. And what we're going to do 
We're going to make use a little jig, which is a simple piece of plexiglass, white plexiglass, with some tape on the back of it. And we're going to set it underneath there, and we're going to go like this, and it's just going to stick on the floor that way. Then we come up on this side, hold the bracket the other way. Now we have that captured. Now we can separate the doors, make sure that everything works properly, which it does. And we'll float the door a little bit. You see how it floats just slightly? So we'll get the door in about a static position. And then we'll slide the third piece in, which is going to capitate to the opposite side of the bracket. That goes like that. When you come down on the other end, do the same thing. Now we can check the doors, make sure that they open all the way. That opens good, that one opens good. Make sure that they return their they're closed. That looks good. As long as we put the brackets back in the same place, the doors will close centered. So coming down the back side, the gaps might be slightly different from one door to the next and the distance between the casings, but there's virtually nothing you can do because the doors are hanging from the ceiling parallel down. If the casing or the wall is out a little bit out of square, you're gonna have a different gap on the bottom than you are on the top. That wouldn't show up as much if the doors are just free swinging. We have to take them back off, set our brackets, drill everything, and then reinstall the doors again. But this will give us a one-shot deal to where we can actually get it right the first time, which would be awesome. What are you doing in the closet? Dude, I knew you needed to come out. Okay, dude. I'm coming out. All right. <laughs> All right, come on out of the closet. Beautiful. I hope that was a whole lot more entertaining for you than it was for us. Thanks for subscribing. And you see more adventures, because now we know that Phil's out of the closet. Things are going to get even better around the Bird Track channel. We'll see you all later. <laughs>